My name is Sarah, and my Darren is a senior lands corporal in the British Army. We live in army housing or an SFA. We don't have to, we just like the challenge. We pay rent and bills contrary to what some civvies think. The difference is, is we seem to have no rights when a repair or maintenance needs doing. Something all fellow service families will be all too familiar with. A civvy company has the contract to look after forces accommodation and the standards have dropped massively. Substandard housing is common, but this civvy firm doesn't seem to give a flying fuck. If there's a repair or a fault that needs doing, then you're going to need to take a few days holiday to report it by phone because you'll be on hold for so long with the most soul-destroying hold music you've ever heard that you'll need at least three shaves before it's answered. Once you get through, it'll be decided which category your repair falls into. One, two or three. If it's deemed a three, you've got two choices. Live with the repair until you're posted and give up. Or get divorced, wait for your 90-day eviction notice, sell your furniture, move out, change your name, set up a new life in a new country, then get back together, remarry and apply for an SFA and start again. Category 2 isn't much better. If anyone actually shows up, they'll send a plumber to do a Sparky's job or a joiner to sort out damp, mould or blocked gutters. The number of no-shows has reached critical level recently, since an even worse civvy contractor has taken on the mantle of twattage. In September this year, David Bowden, DIO's Director of Accommodation, issued an apology to service personnel and their families, acknowledging their shitness. Nothing has changed. Complaints fall on deaf ears and families are still suffering as a consequence. Sort your shit out, pinnacle. You claim you put families first and provide housing where people want to live and thrive. Do me a favour. Who in their right minds wants to live with damp, mould, no hot water and a myriad of other faults? Cash is king and you know it, you absolute shower of shit.